Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we are going to be looking at the less function. So, before we start with the less function, let's create a variable. And we're going to create a number variable, an integer of 5. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pass that variable into the less function. And then we're going to pass a number that we're going to compare it to. So in this instance, we're going to say less, the variable number of 5, compared to 3. So the statement is actually saying, is 5 less than 3? Now obviously 5 is not less than 3, so we're going to get a return of false. So let's actually look at a positive um, example of this. So is our number variable 5 less than 6? Well, it is. So is 5 less than 6? We're going to get a return of true. So the first parameter that you're passing into the less function will be the number that is going to be less than the number you're comparing it to. So is our variable of 5 less than 6? Yes, it is. And we get a return of true. Let's actually take a look at this on Power Automate then. OK, so we are on the Power Automate website and I've got a manual trigger to trigger my flow. I'm then setting a variable of number to 5 and it's an integer type. And then I'm going to be using the less function in a compose action to check if our variable of number 5 is less than 3. And then I'm going to be doing another check of seeing if our number variable is less than, our number 5 variable is less than the number of 6. So let's actually kick this off and see what we get back. Okay, so our flow ran successfully. We have set our number variable of 5. And then we are using the less function to check to see if our number of 5 is less than 3. Obviously it is not less than 3, so we get a false back. And then we are checking our number variable 5 is less than 6 and we are getting a true back. So that is how you can use the less function to check if one of your dynamic data, i.e. we're using a variable here, if our dynamic data of 5 is less than what we want to compare it to, i.e. 6. That's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.